talked about the turnaround in the defense this year. What have you seen as the big reason for it? Um, I think the big reason for it is the seniors in this, this, de this defense that we have. I think it's just the guys, everybody, the younger guys, just buying in to what's really going on and what's at stake and what we can accomplish. And just something that we wanted to do for years now is win a conference championship. And now that we know that we can do it, you know, we got guys who's confident, you know what I mean? So with that being said, you know, you just got guys who's just believing in anything and everything that's coming out of the coach's mouth. And that's just the biggest thing for us right now, just believing in the coach and, and it's, showing, it's showing right now. Coach wasn't too pleased at the press conference on Saturday. What was his message to the team after that game? Oh, he was upset. He was, he was, he was upset. Uh, we gave up those three points. You know, he always said we can do better, and he's right. And then when we watch film on Sunday, you, you, it shows you things that we're doing wrong. Yeah, we're playing good. Yeah, we're making big stops. But it's just it's the little things he harps on, and that's what makes us good. And that's, what, that's what's going to keep helping us to, to win games and to get better. But um, he was upset, and um, that's just the way he is. He's always upset. He doesn't take his medication no more. You know, <laughs> he tell tell you he don't take his medication no more. But uh, he's a he's he's a very very strict coach, and and that's what we need, and that's what you know that's what keeps the young guys in line. That's what keeps us in line. You know, what I mean, nobody gets no leeway. You 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 got to do. Your, it's assignment football. Yeah, we're gonna make plays. Yeah, we're gonna have fun, and, and it's it's crazy because. I had jumped off sides to lead on lead to Augie to get that interception before halftime. You know what I mean? I got ripped for that. You know, even though we, it resulted in something good, but I got ripped for it. So it's just that's just the way he is. That's the way he coaches. Um, I mean, that's just why we're playing so good because he's hard on us, even when we're doing good, even when we haven't guys only score three points or just make a field goal. He's still hard on us. He wants the best for us, and he sees it in us, and that's something he reminds us every week. You know, since was able to drive down. They had that what adjustments did you guys make after those two drives? We really, we really didn't make any adjustments. All we did was just went back to our old base defense, you know what I mean, and just start, you know what I mean, a little, a little stunts here, stunt there. We, all, we just, all we did was just play our, play, play, get comfortable with the game and just play our game. That's all we really did. He was just telling us, you know, we got to make these plays. We got to stop the, the screens. We got to stop the passes and all that. We got to convert on, on rush downs and stuff. So they were throwing the ball on first down, so we had to convert. So that was something we had to do and, and adjust to. But um, he, all, all he did was just motivate us the whole game. You know, he was upset that they got the field goal. And, and since then, you know, every, every time we came on the sideline, he kept telling us we got to get going. The D-line got to get going. The D-line got to get going. And so that's, that's, that's exactly what we did. Without question, the most controversial rule in college football is the targeting thing, as you know full well. Has that changed the way you play or changed the way you attack? No, it didn't. it didn't. It didn't change nothing that I do. All it did was just, you know, it helped me get better, helped me learn different ways of tackling. You know what I mean? I sat down with Coach Strong. I sat down with Coach BJ. I sat down with both of our defensive tackle coach, just asking them questions on ways I can do things differently. And one thing Coach Strong told me, and the first thing he told me was, play your game. You know what I mean? Play your game and just do what you do best. You know what I mean? It was just a bad call, and then the first one was on me. You know, I, I, I hit him too high. But other than that, just play your game. Um, I mean, I didn't change anything I do. All I do is just now, I mean, I got to lower my target, but I'm still playing aggressive. I'm still coming off the ball. I'm still, you know, trying to hit the quarterback, trying to get the most hits on the defense and whatnot. I mean, nothing has changed from my point of view. Is there you mentioned uh, that you were offsides on the, the play that set up Augie. Did, were you still on the field on the Augie play? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What, I was still on the what field. What did you see? What did I? On, on the play where he picked it and re returned it, what? What do you remember about the whole thing, about how it developed? And oh, what all I remember was that um, I jumped offside and I told everybody it's on me, I'm going to make it up. Uh, we went back and we got in an odd front, and I had got a, a triple team, and I tried to beat one man. And then when, I'm, when I seen him throw the ball, it was a quick throw. I see him throw the ball, and then I'm running to the ball, and next thing you know, I see Augie just jump up and catch it. And when he caught it, all I just got, got back into doing our, our pursuit drill. I'm thinking he's going to take it to our sideline, but you know, I guess he saw everybody running that way, and I'm, I hit the lineman. After I hit the lineman, I saw him cut it back, and I just ran to the end zone thinking he was going to score. Next thing you know, we're in the end zone celebrating, and, I'm, and everybody called him slow, but he, <laughs> he found a way to get in the end zone, and, and that, that was the best part about it.
what was the what was the film watching like on that as the team watched that play? Well, the team watched it. Everybody, <laughs> Coach BJ said something funny. Coach BJ said he was happy that Augie caught the pick, but then he was just like, he didn't start celebrating until the 15 yard line because <laughs> he didn't know if he was going to get in there. But uh, Augie was running really fast. I mean, everybody was happy for Augie, you know. He works really hard. He studies, he studies a lot, a lot of film. And just for him, just to come up in, in big plays like that for us and our defense, it just helps us out each and every week, you know, because he already does a lot by setting us up, getting us aligned. And just by him, just to you know, I mean, do big things like that is good for us and good for him. You've been around Augie a long time. Mm -hmm. He's played a lot of football here, made a lot of tackles, done a lot of things. I mean, what, what's your just observation of what he's meant to this program? Oh man, I that <laughs> I give everything to this program, and I, I don't. I honestly say, you know, we can function without Augie, but we really can't function without Augie. He knows a lot. He checks a lot. He does everything for his defense. He gets everybody right, you know what I mean? Just even when we're in our, even when we're in a, uh, the worst predicament we can be in, like a couple years ago, he kept everybody together. He, he, he kept us going, he kept us motivated. He's, he's a, he's a, I, I see him as a true leader for us. And just, just by saying that, like he's a brother to me, we chill all the time, we hang out all the time, just, just on and off the field, he's a leader, you know what I mean? He, 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 he takes command and he does, he does the right things all the time. And, and that's what I like about Augie. But, um, He's a, he's, he's a great dude overall. He's a great dude overall. He's a, he's a, he's a freak when it comes to football. Pete, um, you guys are 6-0, and but I don't think there's any question that the toughest part of your schedule looms. I don't want to say there's a false sense of security, but is there a false sense of security being 6-0, and 16th in the country? Is there a false sense of security? Um, to be honest with you, no, it isn't. We just, we just taking it one game at a time. Coach Strong reminds us every week. We're worrying about this game. Don't worry about the rankings. Don't worry about what everybody else is saying about us. We got to stay together. And just, just, that's just what he reminds us daily, weekly, just to let us know that all that isn't, you know what I mean? Yeah. What we can control right now. And, and that's, that's just the biggest thing for us older guys. By hearing it, we can relate a message to the younger guys because you know, we have younger guys playing on our defense just to keep them in the right mindset and just keep, keep that hunger and keep that edge. I mean, that's just the biggest thing for us, just, just, just getting that message every day from the head man, you know, getting it re reiterated, reiterated to us. That's all. Adrian, you, you, uh, Tulane doesn't necessarily run like a triple option system that you've seen in Navy and some other schools, but they, they run the ball a lot. They run, play a lot of option football. Um, those two games that you've been through against Navy previously, does that help you in your preparation uh, going into Tulane? Uh, it does. But uh, one thing about every team has their own identity. I mean, this team, you know, they're really good. They have some really, really good backs. They have a great quarterback back there. I mean, f for the past six games, every first first play, they average 60 yards. You know, that's their statistic. I mean, they're a great team. We just got to come out and play our football, play our game. You know, we got to stop the run. We got to harp on that. We got to, we got to, you know, go back into our, go back into the book. We got to use our technique. We can't just be freelancing out there, thinking everybody's going to be easy. We got to harp down and just play football. We got to stop the run first and then convert on pass. You know, I mean, it's going to be a hard task for us, but I think it's accomplishable, you know, with the guys that we got, with the backup, with the coaches, with the scheme and everything, just everybody just buying into it. And I, I just feel like with us, you know, anything, any, I mean, everybody's going to doubt us, but anything's possible with us. Anything's possible with us. Who's been playing the option quarterback on the scout team? Who's been giving you a look? Um, we had Brett King doing it, but uh, we're, not, we're not really touching him today. Uh, we have Brett King doing, you know, he's a really good fit for it. But um, other than that, like today, we just, we need, we need to use the football today. We just, everybody just, just assignment football, just attacking, attacking the guys. The inside guy stopping the run, the ends getting the quarterback, the back ends getting the pitch. So it was just, it was just like that today. Today was a, 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 a technique day. Peter, you said earlier that the coach was really upset we gave up those three points. Is that, is that where the bar set? Oh, man. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> Or <laughs> I can tell you like this, uh, our coach Cronin, our de interior defensive line coach, um, he tells us if you can beat him by 40, beat him by 40. That's, that's just his motto. That's just how he, how he wants us to be. I mean, our, our goal is set at 17 points a game. Um, but if we, if we can get them to three points or we can even get a goose egg, that's just what we want. And that's just the expectation doesn't stop. You know, so if we can do that, that that's, just, that's just how we want, that's just how we want it to go which it doesn't always go that way. But um, I mean, 
like that game, he was upset because they shouldn't have got the field goal. There was a couple plays in that drive that messed us up to lead him down there in the red zone, even to get in that position to kick it. During the game, it seemed like the defensive line was getting a pretty solid jump on Cincinnati's offense. Did, was there a tell? Did you guys just time it up perfectly? I know Greg Reeves, he was in the back for like four times. Like Absolutely. They, right they, the they, they, wasn't, they wasn't blocking Greg Reeves. Um, we, 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 I mean, we was listening to their snap count. They were going on, on, on two. And um, we just, we know we saw the formation. Augie called it out. The RDNs was calling out. Our, our safeties was checking. You know, everybody was just doing their job. And we're a get-off team, so we're, we, we're, we're demanded to be in the back for every play. And Greg, we just made a lot of plays, just like along with Mike Love, making some plays here and there. So, and that's just the way our defense is designed, to make plays in the backfield. We, we, we're not, we're, we're supposed to live in the backfield. Played with Greg Reeves standing up as the you know, kind of roaming uh, down the line. The Fox. Yeah. Well, yeah. Do I mean I obviously it worked? But do you mm -hmm. guys like using that that? That odd front? Yeah. I mean, we use it. We run it every game. Yeah. I mean, that's part of our package. You know, we run, we, like today, we run a lot of odd today. Uh, we're going to, like, say we switch it up. We're going to run a lot of even stuff tomorrow. But um, that's that's just the way Greg Reeves is. You know, he's a great he's a great guy for He's a, a really, really fast dude. He runs to the ball. He's a hustler. I mean, everybody everybody's contributed to it. But I think Greg, Greg we, he likes it. I mean, the coach likes it. Each week, coach is going to put us in the best predicament to be successful. And that week, he thought the odd front was fit for us. And he even told us before the game, you're going to make the plays. This play is going to come to you. When we run this, be ready for this. You know, he, he, he prepares us well. And I mean, and it just, it's, it's showing. It's showing. We're making a lot of plays up front. Steve, how did it feel to get that first play? It was a 20 yard play. Did you feel right back in the swing things, basically? Uh, it felt great to be back out there with my teammates uh, to help make the team, help make the uh, you know, make plays with my teammates. It was a good thing to be to be back. It was something I was looking forward to, is just to get back out there and, and be with my team. What's it like not playing? Man, not playing. I gotta tell you, that's 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 the toughest time because you know you want to be out there with your teammates. You want to be out there helping them uh, make a difference. To so not be able to play and it, it's tough, but you got to do what you got to do to get back out there. Were you close to playing the ECU game or was it just just wait? I, I really wasn't comfortable playing on it uh, at the time. So I kind of just wanted to wait it out to uh, get back to where I, I felt comfortable playing again and I could actually come out there and help my team produce. Was it specifically just a high ankle sprain? Is that what you were dealing with? Uh, whatever ankle sprain it is, it, it was, it, I know it hurt, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it, it kind of it it hindered me from playing out there. I just wanted to uh, stick, stick to the training room and, and get up and get back that, get back out there as soon as possible. Would you say you're 100 percent now? Yeah, I'm, I'm good to go. I'm good to go. Well, you've kind of had to wait your turn in years past, and now you're a guy that the, the offense really leans on to make plays. How does that feel to have that responsibility to be contributing, rushing the ball, catching the ball like you are? Uh, in, every, in every level, you're not going to just get out there and, and just start. Off the bat, you got to get there, learn the system, and you got to kind of be patient to wait, wait till your, wait your turn. And when the opportunity comes, you got to seize it. And that's kind of the approach I took this year. I just had to wait my turn, learn from the veterans that we had before me, and I came out there and I learned from them. And, and now that I learned, now now I'm progressing, and I'm kind of feeding off what they left me to to play the game with. And now I'm just adding it to what I, what I can, what I have to bring, what I have to offer. Uh, first and foremost, uh, us wide receivers, we take pride in blocking downfield because the running backs give their give their body up to block for us on the perimeter. So we want to give the same the same uh, for them, and we we'll, we we'll give up our bodies to block for them downfield to help them make a big play. During the ECU game, uh, MVS kind of took your spot on that <laughs> jet sweep. Like, man, I could, I could do that. Yeah. That's my that's my that's my, uh, that's my play coach. Yeah. After the game, I I gave him a call and I said I said you look good. Uh, Running, running my play out there, you know. He kind of gave me a hard time. He said he needed he need me to get back out there. But I, I said it looked good to, to actually see somebody else step in the role and, and not miss a beat and actually do the same thing. What do you think you guys can get better at overall as an offense? Uh, as, a over, as an overall offense, we just, just
just keep keep on keep on moving together, keep on playing, keep on playing. That, that's really it. We just gonna buy in, buy into the system, and just keep on moving forward. No steps backwards. You guys are 16th in the country. Do you feel like you're the 16th best team in the country? Uh, right now, we 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 need we we're continuing to play, to play the game of football. You know, in college football, it's not it's not easy to win. So each game we is a one game season. Each week we come to practice, ready to work, ready to, for the next opponent. We don't worry about later down the season. We worry about the team we got to play and focus on that team. So each week we're going to come out and get better. That's that's all we can do is is come out and get better and build on to what we already have. What does uh, Tulane do? Uh, Tulane don't really do anything that we haven't seen before. We just need to prepare, prepare it uh, better, to uh, be able to defend what what they give us. Just make make plays off what they give us. Do they have a, what, what's, what's their base defense? Uh, Tulane, they 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 wanna they wanna jam the outside receivers. That's kind of what they wanna do. So we gotta kind of get off press coverage. Uh, nothing that our outside receivers can't handle. You feel like wide receivers the deepest unit on the team? We got depth in every unit on the team. To be honest, you you can mix you mix match. You can you can throw kind of throw guys in and out, and and, w and wouldn't hurt you. Coach um, told us after the game Saturday, you know, he, you know he, he suggested there wasn't enough energy, enough enough passion Saturday night. What's the practice has been like since then? Oh, uh, coming out of practice today, we we one thing we harped on was coming out with energy today in practice. You know, some days you uh, you don't you in that funk. You don't want to come to work. But today we made an emphasis that we're going to come to work and we're going to have fun doing it. That's that's something we were harping on is is having fun practicing. And once we have fun practicing, everything else will fall in place.